Well, I'm Scott Weiss from the Ontario Veterinary College, and I deal mainly with infectious diseases. And while it's usually treating diseases and managing outbreaks, one of the things we really want to work on is preventing disease. So anytime we bring horses together, they can pass things back and forth, bacteria, viruses, and the like. And the closer we put them together, the greater that risk. The first thing we can do, though, to prevent disease is make sure that sick horse doesn't get on the property. So it's that first control point that's the most important. One horse can go to six horses, can go to 10 horses, can go to the whole group of horses very quickly if we get an infectious horse on the property. So we want to keep that horse off the grounds. And part of that is making sure people know when not to bring their horse to a facility. If the horse has a fever, has a new cough, has a runny nose, has diarrhea, we don't want those horses here. They're not going to compete well and they're going to pose a risk to others. Next thing we want to do is when a horse arrives at a facility, we know how to manage it. We want to know who's going to look at it, what to do if any problems have arisen during transit, and where they should go initially. That way we can prevent any problems that might be occurring at the time of entry. Sometimes a horse might look fine when it leaves the farm and it looks a little bit off when they get to a, a facility. So the important thing there is figuring out what to do before it gets into the other horses, where it stays, who looks at it, how to manage it, instead of just turning it loose in a barn with some other horses and maybe creating some risk. Well, as we come inside, we can see we're in an area where there'll be a lot of horses, there'll be a lot of people, there'll be a lot of surfaces that different horses have touched over the course of the day. So as we bring the horse in, or ideally before we bring the horse in, we want to take a look around. Are there horses next to us that are looking sick? Do they have their heads down? Are they coughing? Is there diarrhea? Is the area clean? Has the stall been cleaned out and disinfected? Is there manure? Is there pus or are there nasal secretions on the cross ties? is an environment that's clean for our horse to reduce the risk. So as you're coming in with your horse, avoiding contact with other horses is probably the most important thing we can do. That direct horse-to-horse -horse contact probably poses the greatest risk, so making sure as we're entering and keeping our horse in the stall that it can't have contact with other horses, that's maybe the main thing we can do. But people's hands can be a great way to transmit things. We want to prevent people from touching one horse and touching another horse, or touching other horse's equipment and touching our horse. So minimizing all that direct and indirect contact is very important. Every time a horse has come in, it's posing some risk for leaving something behind in its manure, in its nasal secretions, where it coughs. So at the end of the day, we want to make sure the area is as clean as possible. Part of that involves having good services, having metal, having painted wood, having areas that aren't chipped or damaged, that don't let bacteria hide in them. The other obviously is cleaning very well. Cleaning and disinfecting and having flooring that can be removed, flooring that can be washed off, and that can handle a disinfectant. So at the end of the day, we can bring the risk back to where it was at the beginning of the day. Other things you should consider when coming into a facility, especially for the first time, are where does the horse go to urinate and defecate? Where do we find water buckets? Where do we clean things? Where's the nearest sink? Let's wash your hands or wash something off. How do we prevent that cross contact? And if something happens, who do we talk to to help correct the problem? And even looking at little things, looking at cross ties, are they clean? Are they metal that can be cleaned? Or are they rope? And do they let the horse stretch his head all the way over to touch the horse next door? So sometimes we have to use areas that are common use. Many horses are going to go in here, they may urinate, they may defecate, that poses some risk. But there is the ideal world and there's the real world. There are things that we can do to reduce the risk and one of the most important things is making sure only healthy horses come in here. So they don't deposit a concerning bacterium or virus in here. And at the same time, making sure the area is designed so that it can be cleaned as well as possible. Surfaces that can handle a disinfectant, areas that can be cleaned out quickly and properly, and good protocols to make sure that cleaning gets done and that any problems get acted on very quickly.